Welcome back to AP Precalculus in under 3 minutes. No time for intros, let's get into it. Topic 1.13 and 1.14 are practically the same. 1.13 is about predicting function models by context clues, while 1.14 tells you how to actually construct these functions. So I should preface this all by saying, as someone who took this exam this most recent year, you will get a lot of questions asking you to fit a function to a set of data or a word problem. The real best way to know what function to use is to use your calculator. However, let's say you were given this on a no calculator problem. Problem. Let's discuss some tips. A linear function will model data sets or aspects of contextual scenarios that have a constant rate of change. Quadratic functions will always have the rate of change shifting, but it's typically associated with a function that has one distinct minimum or maximum. Geometric contexts involving area or two dimensions can often be modeled by quadratic functions. Geometric contexts that involve volume or three dimensions can often be modeled with cubic functions. A piecewise function is really just multiple functions on one graph. Knowing this is useful for modeling a dataset or contextual scenario that demonstrates different characteristics over different intervals. But just know the best way to figure out what model matches a scenario is a graph. Graph the information they give you and see what function it models. Moving on, a problem might have underlying assumptions on how quantities change together, or maybe what is consistent in the model. What I'm essentially saying here is to read the entire question and make sure you understand each part of what it is asking and saying. Also remember to model each answer to the real world scenario given in the problem. Like for example, you can't have 0.5 people in a room or 0.7 printers. Because of this, some domain and range restrictions might exist in an equation. On the screen now are problems for this topic. Pause now. I'll put the work and answers on the screen now. See you in the next one.